Pitbulls Around the World, International Perspectives Pitbulls are a widely controversial dog breed. Known for their strength and athleticism, they have been both celebrated and demonized in different parts of the world. In this article, we will explore the diverse international perspectives on pitbulls and the various challenges they face in different countries. From regulations and bans to rehabilitation efforts, we will delve into the global landscape of pitbull ownership and their impact on communities. 1. United States, the birthplace of pitbulls. The United States holds a special place in the history of pitbulls. Originally bred for bull baiting in the 19th century, pitbulls later became popular as family pets. However, they have also been associated with dogfighting rings, leading to negative stereotypes. In response, many states have implemented breed-specific legislation BSL, that places restrictions on pitbull ownership. These laws have faced criticism, with advocates arguing that it is the owner's responsibility, not the breed, that determines a dog's behavior. 2. United Kingdom, the Dangerous Dogs Act The United Kingdom has a long history of breed-specific legislation, particularly the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 This legislation bans pitbulls and three other breeds, making it illegal to own or breed them. The act was introduced due to rising concerns about dog attacks, though critics argue that it unfairly punishes responsible owners and perpetuates stereotypes. Despite the ban, there have been ongoing efforts by advocacy groups to challenge the legislation and promote responsible ownership. 3. Canada, Balancing Personal Freedoms and Public Safety In Canada, the approach to pitbull regulation varies across provinces and territories. Some have implemented BSL, while others have chosen to focus on responsible ownership education and promoting breed-neutral legislation. The debate in Canada centers around balancing personal freedoms with public safety. Supporters of BSL argue that it is a necessary precautionary measure, while opponents believe it is ineffective and targets innocent dogs. For Australia, breed-specific regulation down under. Australia also faces debates surrounding pit bull ownership, with various states implementing breed-specific regulations. Some states prohibit pit bulls entirely, while others have strict regulations such as mandatory muzzling and registration for pit bull owners. The laws have been met with mixed responses, with advocates suggesting that a breed-neutral approach and responsible ownership education would be more effective in promoting public safety. 5. Brazil, Pitbulls as Guardians In Brazil, pitbulls are commonly used as guard dogs due to their strong protective instincts. However, their reputation as aggressive canines has resulted in a significant number of pitbulls being abandoned or mistreated. Despite the challenges, organizations in Brazil are working to change the negative perception of pitbulls and promote responsible ownership. They focus on rehabilitating mistreated pitbulls and raising awareness about the breed's loving and loyal nature. Conclusion The international perspectives on pitbulls vary widely, from stringent breed-specific legislation to efforts aimed at promoting responsible ownership and rehabilitation. While the breed's strength and protective qualities can be harnessed for positive purposes, negative stereotypes and misconceptions continue to plague pitbulls. It is crucial to educate the public about responsible pit bull ownership and dispel the myths surrounding these dogs. By doing so, we can ensure a fair and inclusive global perspective on pit bulls and create a safer environment for both humans and dogs alike.